Hello, in this video I'll be explaining intensity. The definition of intensity is the rate of energy transferred per unit area at right angles to the wave velocity. That's quite a mouthful, so let's break it down into an equation. So intensity I equals the rate of energy transferred. Now the rate of energy transferred, that's the energy transferred per unit time would be another way of saying that. Well, the energy transferred per unit time is power. So all it's saying here is power per unit area. I'm going to write area out in full here rather than using A because I don't want to get confused with amplitude, which we'll be talking about a little bit later. So intensity equals power divided by area. Now it talks about the area being at right angles to the wave velocity. All that means is that if the wave is traveling in this direction here, the area has been drawn at right angles to that wave. Let's do an example using this equation. So intensity equals power divided by cross-sectional area. Let's imagine we have a light bulb with a power of 50 watts. And we assume that this light bulb is a perfect point source. That is, it gives out light in all directions. So therefore, we can imagine it's almost like an inflating a balloon. We can imagine the light spreading out in a sphere around the light bulb. If we want to work out the intensity of the light around that light bulb, we need to work out the size of that sphere, the area of that sphere that is inflating around our light bulb. And the surface area of a sphere is calculated using the equation A equals 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius. Let's begin by working out the intensity two meters away from the light bulb. So this would be four pi times two squared. So that would be 16 pi. Our intensity I equals 50 watts divided by our surface area, which we've worked out to be 16 multiplied by pi which is equal to 0 0.99 watts per square meter. So that's the intensity at 2 meters. What if we were 4 meters away instead? Well, let's work that out. So the intensity at 4 meters. Again, the power output of the light bulb is still 50 watts. But we need to divide that by 4 pi times 4 squared, which gives us 0 0.25 watts per square meter. So as you can see, doubling the distance away has caused the intensity to quarter. Imagine dropping a stone into some water. As the wave spreads out, the amplitude of the wave decreases. Intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. Another way of writing this would be to say that intensity divided by amplitude squared equals a constant. So we have, if we have a wave with uh, an initial intensity, I1, of 100 watts per square metre, and an initial amplitude, A1, of 5 centimetres, What will happen to the amplitude A2 when the intensity decreases to just 50 watts per square metre? So the first thing to do here is to calculate our constant. So 100 divided by 5 squared equals 4. 
So our constant k is 4. So now to work that out for our final amplitude, we need to rearrange our equation to make a the subject. So that would make i divided by k equals a squared. So a equals the square root of i over k. So our new intensity 50 divided by our constant 4 and that gives us a new amplitude of 3.53 centimetres.